Hey guys, so discovered something really cool on how you can edit PDFs stored in SharePoint without using desktop syncing. And this is probably actually a better way than desktop syncing because it allows us to actually make some modifications to some of the metadata. So let me start off first here. Here's my doc, I created a, uh, a new document library about projects. And in that I have a folder called letter templates. And as part of all the documents stored in this project library, I'm gonna have a status set up in here for things that I'm gonna be doing with. Now, we know that I can go to here, I can right click on any Microsoft document, I can open, whoops, come back, I can open up in the browser or I can open up the desktop app. Again, don't need to have any desktop syncing for that. The challenge comes with the PDFs. And the problem we have is that the PDF is not is a, is a web format, but it's not a Microsoft format, so there's no way to be uh, editing the, uh, the applications. So how can we go about that? Well, what we can do is from within Adobe Acrobat, down at the bottom here it says add an account, you can add a link to any of these shared um, storage spaces. So the idea is that we're going to have a link here that points to our SharePoint site. Now, there's a couple different ways. Uh, I've, it took a while to figure this out. You can either do it at the document library level, in which case all the folders are in there. You'll be able to see all those folders. You can grab the URL up here, or you can get into the actual folder. So in this case, because I just want to do letter templates, I'm just going to do that. So I go up here, I grab the URL, and just to show you, you have to kind of edit stuff out. So if you were to do the document library level, this is what the URL would look like. So just delete everything that goes after that, and that's the URL we're going to use in Adobe Acrobat. If you want to go to a folder level, you're going to basically go down, grab everything from slash forms, and you can see it all comes here, and then it kind of repeats itself. So there's the name of my, my uh, uh, site. There's the document library, and then there's the folder I want, letters, space. That's a, the, the HTML code for space. And then delete everything after that. So library slash letters templates. So your URL will look like this. So I'm just going to grab this URL because it's there. So I'll go over to here. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to add that folder. And again, you know, don't add anything you don't need. For, uh, this doesn't actually sync in the same way. Like you can see it. It's like a window there. And then I can just reach in, grab the file I'm working on, and put it back. But that's pretty much what it is. So there's, there shouldn't be too much danger of, you know, doing the top level of the, the directory library, but I recommend don't. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to call up my letters and templates. And I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's spell it right, templates. I'll put that URL in. I'll add that here. I'll add that here. There we go. And now we can see there's the same stuff that shows up in here. Okay. So let's take a look at this five steps to creating. Um, it has someone has checked it out and hasn't checked it back in. So I'm going to go in here and check it in. Okay. Someone's changes weren't made. So we'll go back in here, just refresh it. So now I can go in, I can open up this PDF and I can edit the PDF. This is Adobe Acrobat. I can go in, I can make the changes. Notice it says here, check out and open because what it's gonna do is it's basically locking it for everyone else because the PDF is not a document format that's easy editable by multiple people in, in the SharePoint world anyways. So we're gonna make, we're gonna lock that out. And when you go back over here, I'm just gonna refresh this. We'll see that there should be a little icon showing up here. There it is. That says it's been checked out. Someone else is working on it. And if I uh, go over to the cursor here, I can see it was checked out by this person here. So you can, if someone happens to forget to check it back in, you can find out. So I go into here. I can make whatever changes I want to my application app with Trevor. And I'm going to go and save this in a second. So actually, I'll save it right now. So we'll go ahead and save this. Now, it's just saved to my uh, to my computer right now. It hasn't been re-uploaded because that's the part of the check-in, check-out process. Notice right now the file here, the status I have is completed. Well, maybe I'm working on that and I want to change that. I can change it here once I check it back in to the status, or I can actually change it from right within Adobe, which to me is exciting. So before I close this, I'm going to go up under File to SharePoint Office, Prepare Document Properties. And I can see there's my status. You know what? My status is now I'm going to go back. I'm actually in progress working on it. So I'll hit OK. 
I hit OK here. I can save it again if I want. And if you don't, it shouldn't matter. It's the moment that I close, it's going to say, hey, you know, um, do you want to save it? Now, watch what happens when I close this. Then it says, do you want to check it back in? The answer to this will always be yes. So we're going to do that. I can put some versioning comments, um, working today, whatever I want. That's just for that version. Not sure where that shows up yet. It probably, it'll probably show up under the version there. But look what happens when I come back here. I'm going to do a quick refresh. And now I'm in progress and the thing's checked in. So now anyone can go in and, and look at it. And if I open this up just by clicking on here, I'm just looking at the view and I should see that title was changed with app with Trevor. So you can make your edits there really easy. What's also exciting though, is if I go back into this uh, letters and template area is I can create a PDF from a word. So there's a template right there. I'm just going to highlight that off to the side. It says create a PDF. So again, I'm doing this right from within Adobe. I'm going to go in here. This is assuming you're making these changes in in the uh, in Adobe. You're not making changes in Microsoft. I mean, there's six of one, half a dozen of the other. It all does the same. Uh, whether I make a copy there or what. So sometimes I get this message. I just say, sure, go ahead, start it locally. So I can go to here, dear Bob. Oops, I have to go into edit. I always forget this step. Go to here, dear Bob. Uh, the problem with editing the PDFs is you have to go back in here and change the, the, the fonts and stuff like that. So sometimes it's better if you're just doing this, you're, you just use it right within Microsoft Word. So make a copy there. However, if you just need to add a signature or a stamp or something like that, this is a great way of doing it. So I have these files in here. Uh, again, I am going to uh, close this file or I'm actually going to save it. It doesn't matter which I do. It's going to ask me that. But where am I going to save it? I'm going to go to that letters and template folder we were just working on. So there it is. I'm going to call it uh, Farewell Bob. I'm going to save it. Now, here's the cool thing. If, remember that status thing again? As I save this, I can, uh, for the first time, when I save it, I can change the status here. So I can mark this completed. I can mark this in progress. I can mark this waiting for approval, whatever I want. And I'll go ahead and hit continue. It'll finish the process, updating the file. So I've saved it there. And then when I close this, it's done. Let's go back here to my, my screen. I'll close this window. Um, and there's farewell to Bob as a PDF. No word. There is the status. And remember, we can do a lot of automation on the status, sending out emails and um, authentications or sorry, approvals, stuff like that. So this is really, really exciting.